here with multi-time national champion, Dan the Problem Brown. What's good, Dan? Yes, sir. How you feel? I'm chilling, Dan. What's up with you, man? Good, man. I can't complain. Guy's good. You added some hardware last time I seen you. Um, you won two nationals, um, competing in Olympic trials. You lost in the finals. How, how, how do you feel about your progression so far as a fighter? Um, it's great. You know, being really new to the sport, just learning more and just gaining more skill every time I go out. You know, so just trying to improve every single time I fight. That's the goal. And the crowd going crazy. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so what's next, man? Man, we got to uh, stay busy. Stay busy. Um, they have another national tournament, ringside national tournament in October. Uh, they got the Oxnard tournament in California. We're trying to make it out there in October as well. And then uh, the nationals in December. So just trying to pick up as many as I can before we turn. Dan, how long can you keep the promoters off your ass? Pause. <laughs> how long? You, I know you're already getting phone calls. You're one of the biggest punchers in amateur boxing history. And you only got 30-something fights. Yes, sir. Right? So in, in your mind, when is the right time going to be? Just um, going out to uh, probably we're looking to do the end of this year and the beginning of the next. So the, the magic number for us is trying to get seven national titles. So uh, we're at two now. we got five more to go. Now you started off at uh, heavyweight. Now you're working your way now. Now you're competing at cruiserweight. Could we see a light heavyweight run real soon? Man, that's, uh, that's honestly the goal. You know, when we're, when we're turning pro, we're looking to fight at light heavyweight, um, super middleweight, you know, so 175, 168. So we're just continuing to work our way down, slowly but surely. Yeah. All right, so, Dan, you know I got to ask you about fights, right? Yes, sir. You're talking about Javante Davis, Shakur Stevenson. Could possibly happen next. Yeah. What's your thoughts about that? Um, they're both great fighters. Uh, Shakur get a lot of hate, but, you know, honestly, all, you, all you're supposed to really do is win the fight, you know? But uh, but when it comes to him and Tank, I'm definitely I'm definitely leaning towards Tank. You know what I'm saying? I think, is, that, uh, is that the puncher bias? That's a punch of mine, man. You know, I'm a punch of myself. I'm getting my boxing skills together too, but like, as a punch, I'm gonna go with the punch for sure. How does he win that fight? I go. Yeah, it's gonna it's gonna take some time. I say probably like 10th or 11th. Now, is it it's gonna be a systematic breakdown? Is the fight gonna be competitive up until then? I think so. I think you'll see uh, early on a boxing match. You mm. know, both of them. A lot of people like to focus on takes power, but he's a good boxer too. So uh, I think it'll, early on you're going to see a boxing match. Shakur and Carl Conchar, I keep away. But I don't think you can keep away from that power for 12 rounds. I just don't think you can.